What it do, E-World? Crisscrossing wise. And, uh, yeah, I'm out here cleaning up the beast. About to put a buff on this thing and, uh, sign it up a little bit. But, uh, first I want to talk to you guys about, um, I'm about to do a video on how you can make, uh, any of these style bikes, juice bikes, super 73s, zoo goes any factory built bike that you like and appreciate faster the first thing i'm going to need you to do is not be scared okay not be scared to do any of this stuff that i'm going to tell you you need to do all right that's the first thing you got to get over that. Now, the second thing I'm going to need you to do is uh, accept what I'm about to say. Not get mad, but just understand that it is truth. And my channel is about truth, telling the truth, and uh, facing some harsh realities and facts. Because I had to. Now. The first harsh reality, especially for you Super 73 guys that want to make your bikes faster and are scared to do so. And I get that. You paid three, four, five grand for your e-bike. But let's be honest. You paid three, four, five grand for a bike that's only worth about $1,500 really in parts. Uh, maybe not from Super 73 but comparable e-bike parts yeah so i understand why you're you know scared of uh messing up your warranties and all that kind of stuff but understand that warranty probably ain't worth a damn anyway i'm pretty sure they really don't uh well maybe they do i don't know that they should for all the money you paid but anyway let's get over the point of uh being scared to you know mess up your warranty these things will have to be done if you want more performance now like i said understand first of all you paid way too much for that bike all right get over that second of all understand do not worry about these modifications because it's an e-bike at the end of the day e-bikes are really simple and consist of really simple parts especially for you know just normal e-bikes you do not have to replace factory components with factory components you can get aftermarket components much cheaper that are much better and you know like i said probably for one fifth of the price okay First of all, your controller, all right? The controller that comes on these juice bikes, uh, I don't have any idea where this controller is now, but uh, let me see something. That right there, that little uh, bit set uh, box is bigger than the controller that came out of this juice bike. You know, it probably was half of that. Super 73 controllers are skinny. Maybe about maybe about that wide and a little longer. They're very small. Why? Because they produce very small power. Uh, you know, uh, really low amps. Okay? So the first thing you're going to have to do is disconnect that little matchbox controller you have and not be worried about it, okay? Then once you do that, you need to disconnect your motor wire, which this is the motor wire on this juice bike. As you can see, it has three little teeny tiny phase wires and the hall sensor wires. Look how small these phase wires are. That's because that's a 750 watt motor. So, uh, yeah, 
those are fine for 750 watts. However, as small as they are, you still can run more power through these. I mean, would I? No, because I would upgrade mine to bigger wires. However, can you get away with it? Yes, you can. Will it be efficient? No, it won't, but it will work. Now, the first thing you're going to do, like I said, get rid of those little matchbox controllers that are normally 15 amps, 20 amps, 25 amps, and get something like this. Now, these look like they on the order of Savatons, but they're not. These are inexpensive aftermarket controllers. This is the controller that I use on Frank. Frank was my Zugo Rhino. Now, compared to that, that is a huge power increase. This controller here is only a 45 amp RMS controller. However, it made all the difference in the world okay look at the phase amps on this 45 amp controller i mean the phase wires see how thick they are they're much thicker than those little 18 20 gauge wires that came on that controller however it's only a 45 amp controller you could run this motor off of this controller and you can buy one of these Chinese controllers from Amazon for about uh, 60 75 bucks. If you want to pay a little more, maybe 125 130 bucks. This is a 100 amp controller, okay? 100 amps. You could definitely run that on that bike. Now, first thing I'm going to do to this bike is uh like I said, replace the controller with one of these. Now, uh, I'm going to do this in every step possible to make it as cheap as possible. First, we're going to start off replacing the controller and doing that with the stock battery and the stock motor. Just to give it more current, you'll see what type of speed increase that makes. That alone will give you about 10, maybe 15 more miles per hour. After that, we'll upgrade the battery. That's a 52 volt. We'll go to 72 volts on the stock motor. After we do that, then we'll upgrade the motor. All right, so stand by, stay tuned. Do what I told you to do. Get over the fact of worrying about blowing, you know, void and warranties and all that kind of stuff. Because anything I do, we can easily... Uh, replace for the low low no do not w you will not have to buy another super 73 controller because guess what that controller they probably went three four hundred dollars from that from super 73 that's ridiculous you could buy a sabaton for that anyway that's going to be the first step and uh we'll come back to that just letting you know where you need to get your mindset. All right, y'all. Take care. I'm going to show you how to make a stock e-bike a whole lot faster, and you'll be satisfied. Peace.